Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide I'll explain how to quickly send photos and pictures in your emails using Gmail. I'll take you step by step through how to send photos from your computer or Google Photos or even a website like Facebook or Pinterest. Let's get straight into it. So we're logged into Google and in Gmail. Let's start by opening a new blank email. I'll do that by clicking on the Compose icon in the top right of the inbox. The Compose icon may look a little different for you. It may have a large plus sign or just be a pencil icon. But once clicked, all these options will open a new email window. By default, Gmail opens a small window to write your email. But I find that when adding photos or pictures to an email, it can make it easier if we work in a larger space. So to increase the size of the email window, let's click on the option to open the full screen view in the top right of the email window and you'll see the new message now fills the full screen. To add photos to any email, Gmail provides a dedicated option for you to choose, the insert photo icon. This is found on the bottom toolbar in the email window. Let's click that option now. A new insert photo window opens. This window gives you the option to add your photos from a number of different sources. By default, Gmail assumes you want to add photos from Google Photos. If we click along the options in the top row, you'll also see that those same photos are shown split into their albums. The next option allows you to add a photo directly from your PC or laptop computer. And the final option supports adding a photo from any website, such as Facebook or Pinterest. Let's go through how to add a photo using each of these options. And don't forget, you can click on any section below to go straight to the area of this guide that interests you the most. Please do subscribe if you like what you see, so we can let you know when new guides are published. We'll start with Google Photos. When you set up a Google account, you're automatically provided with the space to store your photos on. If you use an Android phone, you can choose to save any pictures you take to Google Photos. You can see your Google Photos online by visiting photos.google.com. As well as storing all the pictures you take in your phone, you can also use this site to upload any pictures. Returning to Gmail, to add a photo from Google Photos to our email, all we need to do is find the image we want to choose and click on it. You'll see a blue tick appears in the corner of the image to show it's been selected. Now you can select and unselect multiple images to add photos from this one window using this method. Before we insert it, Let's just pause on the options in the bottom right of the window, which describe how you add the image to your email. The two options are inline and as attachment. But what do they mean? If you choose to insert images inline, this means pictures are added directly to the body of the email. When the person you send your email to receives it, they will see the images straight away without having to download them. You might want to choose this method if you're just quickly sharing pictures or if you know that someone might be a bit nervous about opening attachments for security reasons. If you share your pictures as an attachment, the images aren't shown in the email, but instead are added to the bottom of your mail. These files can then just be clicked on and opened by the person who receives the email. You might want to use this method if you're sharing images for work or you know that they will need to be edited or the full size images needed. I'll use the inline method for this example. Once you've chosen how you want to add your image to your email, click on the large blue insert button. Let's go back into the insert photo option and I'll demonstrate how the other insert methods work. The next option we'll look at is upload. You would choose this option where you have images already stored on your laptop or PC computer. You can add photos in two ways. Let's start with the drag method. If you have the images stored on your desktop, you can see them by reducing the size of the Gmail window. We can do this by clicking on the reduce window size option in your browser. I'm using a Mac, so this option is on the left of the window. But if you're using Windows, it'll be on the right. You can select your image by clicking on it once and then holding the left mouse button down. We then simply drag the picture to the drag photos here space shown in Gmail. You'll see a copy of the photo move with your mouse pointer and you know it's good to add when the Gmail insert photo window turns blue as you move your mouse over it. Release the left mouse button to add the photo and you'll see that the image is then uploaded and is directly added to the email. This picture has been added in line 
as that was the option selected when I dragged it into the insert photo window. Let's make our window full size again. And we'll go back into the insert photo window and choose the upload option at the top. To add images directly using the file picker, let's click on the blue Choose Photos to Upload button. A file browser window is then opened, showing the images on my computer. As before, I can choose to add a single image, or if I hold down the control button, I can select a number of images in one selection. To add these images, I click on the Add button in the bottom right of the window, and they are uploaded and added to the email. Let's now look at the final way to add a photo to our email from a website. We'll go back into the Insert Photo option at the top of the email, and I'll choose the Web Address option. You'll often see web addresses called a URL. This is just a unique location for a website or an image that we can use to add the picture to our email. Let's open up Facebook to find an image we like. I'll click into the photo section and from the images shown I'll choose this one and I'm going to open it up by clicking it once. So the next task for us is to find the web address or URL for this image. The best way to do this is to move our mouse pointer over the picture and click the right mouse button. You'll see we're shown a list of options. I'll choose copy email address and the web address is now copied to our clipboard. Once I've done that, I'll return to Gmail and if I click in the paste an image URL here box and then right click with my mouse, I'll choose the paste option. The web address we copied is then pasted into the box and you'll know this has worked because the image we found on Facebook appears in the window. To insert that image, click on the blue insert button. The image is added in line because we are referencing the web address available online. We don't have access to the original file, so we can't add this as an attachment using this method. If you want to save a picture on the web as a file, you'll need to download it to your computer and then upload it as an attachment as shown before. Now before we send this email with our photos, let's take a look at what options we have to adjust it when we add it in line. If we click on the picture we've added, you'll see there are options to resize it. If we're adding a lot of images, you may want to resize it to small, as this will reduce the overall size of the email. In Gmail, the emails you send can't be larger than 25 megabytes, so you need to make sure that any photos you insert don't add up to more than 25 megabytes. By default, Gmail will always insert your pictures based on best fit. This provides a good balance of presenting the image well in the email and keeping the email size at a reasonable level. If you want to adjust the size of your photos a little in the email, you can do this when you've clicked on it. By moving your mouse pointer to the corner of the image, you'll see that when you move the cursor over one of the blue corner boxes, it changes to an arrows icon. Once you see this, click once using your left mouse button and then you can drag the picture to resize it so it's just right for you. There may be occasions when you want to send your picture at its original size. Usually this will be quite big and may not look how you want it to in the email, but you can also resize that as shown before. If you want to remove an image completely, you can do this by clicking on it and choosing the remove option. Once you're happy with your photos, it's time to send your email. We need to also add the email address of the person we want to send the email to and add a subject title. Once that's done, we can then send our email off by clicking on the large blue send button. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Let me know in the comments below if this works for you or add any questions you have. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.